control flow graph. This is the control flow graph describes the sequence of the processing of any execution of the stages. Let us suppose this is a program. How my program is going to be execute that the same thing we are going to write into the diagrams. So, let us suppose if A is equal to B, it will execute C is equal to C. If this is true, it will execute this. If it is false, it will come here, it will execute this. And in both of the scenario, this line is going to be executed. Since if else statement is a single line statement executable, so this statement is going to be executed in all of the conditions. So, how to draw the graph for it? So, let us suppose my execution is starting from here. If it is true, it will execute something like this. If it is false, if this is false, it will go somewhere else. It will come. And in both of the scenario, this line is going to be executed. So, something like this, it will be executed this. So, this will be control flow graph for a particular this code. Let us suppose we have another example here. Let us suppose this. While A is greater than B, B is equal to B minus A, B is equal to B multiplication of A and C is equal to A minus B. How to draw this? So, here also my execution will start at the while condition. From the while condition, if it is a true, it will come down, it will execute this, it will execute this and once again it will go up, it will execute. This loop will run again and again. Once this line is fail, then it will come out. If this is fails, it will come out and execute this line, last line. So, this is how my control flow is going to be execute the part. So, this is how you have to every time you have to create the control flow graph for any kind of sequence. It may be GCD of a number or writing the code for the pseudo code for the binary search, any kind of a program you can search out. Why we need to draw this? Because once you have drawn this, you can go for the finding the complex makeups cyclometric complexity. That was the most important topic for your gate. Cyclometric complexity, Mikeyevs has told how many complexity is there that is going to be derived by only drawing this CFG. So once you have drawn the CFG, we have a three methods to find the complexity. First method it states that how many vertices are there, how many edges are there, just take a subtraction of it, plus 2, make a plus of 2. So, how many here, let us suppose here you have 1, 2, 3 and 4 vertices. How many is this? 1, 2, minus 2, plus 2. It will be what? It will be 4. So, complexity will be here 4. Similarly, for this graph, what will be there? How many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 vertices minus how many edges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, plus 2. It will be 2. So, complexity will be 2 here. So, that is the complexity how we are going to find. So, complexity always is going to be either it will be number of edges minus number of nodes plus 2 or it can be possible another second method states how many condition, how many decision statements are given into the program that plus 1. So, just see here how many decisions are here in this. Only one decisions are there. Here only we are taking a decision else is not a decision. So, here one decision plus 1 means 2. Here also how many decisions? Only one decisions. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, here also we have a 2. Now, third formula tells that how many bounded area are there plus 1. So, here in this complexity CFG graph, how many bounded area are there? Means closed area. So, here only we have a, this area is a closed. So, one area plus 1 is equal to 2. Similarly, in that also one area plus 1 is equal to 2. So, basically every time it is going to be 2 in this control flow graph because in use any kind of a formula or method your answer will be the same. Either it can be number of bounded area plus 1, either it can be number of decision statements plus 1 or it can be number of edges minus number of vertices plus 2. All these three formula anyone you can use to find the complexity. So, this is how we are going to find the complexity of a given uh, control statements. So, these are the very important topic for your gate examinations.